Alright, another speed build completed. This one was suggested by Lone Shadow Wolf 69 slash Dark Reckon. That is his full username. So uh, before I get to reviewing this model and giving you guys uh, my thought process on this construction, I want to note that I, I noticed I was running a little short on some parts that I really like to use in my mock building. So what I'm going to do when I revamp this guy is I'll do a showcase video with all five of my speed builds as of yet. Uh, the rat, the Aarakocra, the centipede woman, whatever the other speed build was. For the life of me, I can't remember what, what it was. And this knight as well. And then once I'm done with that showcase video, I'm going to dismantle all five of them so I can kind of replenish my parts list. Oh, I remember what the other speed build was. It was Mist the Cryomancer. I can't believe I forgot that one. But anyways, yeah, now that I've gotten that out of the way, Let's get right to my thought process. So I started with the torso. I'm really happy with the way it turned out, actually. I think it really conveys the beefy male look that I was shooting for. I did use an Anika torso body, so go ahead and sue me, or whatever. But what can I say? I, uh, I only have 30 minutes for this kind of thing, so some things I just need to use as my go-to in order to speed things up. So there, I get that out of the way. Next step for me was the legs. I I really like where I was starting to go with the thighs, but there are still some gaps and open holes that I want to try and plug in when I revamp them. But uh, So I just had to throw what was necessary together to connect it to the rest of the body and the legs, so that's what happened there. Lower legs and arms I had to throw together as well because I was short on time. And then I realized, oh wait, this is a knight samurai thing. I need to make sure I give him some weapons. So I rushed right to the construction of the shield, which I think turned out okay. I used two Anika torsos, again, with the Anika torsos. And I found a bronze Vizorak head to use, and I really like the way it looks compared to the rest of the model. I think the color scheme works very well. And I threw together this sword harpoon weapon thingamajig, so that's his weapon. That's what it's called. It's a sword harpoon thingamajig. And lastly, the head. It looked a little small to me compared with the rest of the body, so I wanted to beef it up a little bit with a helmet or something that kind of covered the sides of his head, but I realized that was going to take way too long. So instead, what I did is I gave him this blue translucent hat thing instead, thus turning him into a Toa Samurai Knight thing instead of a Toa Knight. So there you go. But uh, I do make these videos um, for myself just because I um, I have loads of fun doing this kind of thing, but I'm also do this for you guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think of this monstrosity that I've created. Leave some comments and uh, give me suggestions for some more speed builds that I can do. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video where I showcase my centipede woman which I have revamped. If I don't get to that right away, uh, do not fret. I have some other Bionicle Mock videos that I haven't released yet that I'll go ahead and release in the meantime if I'm not able to get to the Centipede Woman. So there you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. This is Makuta Alvarez signing out.